Welcome to ChristianInfo.co.uk. This is a tutorial on using Freeway. Uh, when you launch Freeway, you will get this window appear unless you turn this dialog button off here, uh, and it starts you off on your making a web page. If you know nothing about web pages at all, uh, there's some templates that you can use uh, to work with. But if you know a lot about it, then there's the custom section, uh, which we'll be looking at in more detail later on. So we can have a general websites, which are these, or if you want to send HTML documents to people over uh, the email, you can use these templates, or if you want to make a presentation, you've got these templates to work from as well. And you can create your own templates and um, download other templates as well. So the first thing is we're just going to use a basic one just to see how Freeway works, and we just click on it, and we're going to use charcoal and then save it and then up comes the file name that you want to call it we'll keep it called charcoal and then we we'll save it and then freeway will open up that document for you and but if we get rid of that for a minute and then have a look at what's happened it's made a folder for us called charcoal which is going to hold all your website and this shows you what you get within a freeway document the basis of it first thing you get is a freeway uh, file uh, or a document uh, which holds all your website information and then you have a media folder which has all the pictures that you want to use uh, within your website and any other pictures you want to use push them into that folder on any other content put them in that folder and uh, then you can keep them all together you might want to make a variety of different media folders for videos or for flash files uh, or for audio files or anything like that then you've got a site folder, which is where Freeway will create all the HTML for your site uh, automatically uh, for you to preview it in a browser. Uh, it's empty at the moment because Freeway hasn't actually made anything for us yet. So we're going to open up our Freeway document uh, once again, and we're going to have a look at this site menu, site page here. You can make it bigger or smaller just by dragging uh, things out. Um, but what there are, there's a variety of pages here for it. We've got a home page. Uh, if we click, we can go to a news page, and then an about page, and a gallery, and all sorts of different things working through there. But that's our basic uh, website for us. On this page, we've got a variety of pictures uh, and text uh, all working together, um, which we can then change easily. So the main thing is we need to make sure we've got our toolbar open. If you haven't got a toolbar open, you can access everything from the top up here. So, But if you want the toolbar, just go to Windows and down to Tools, and then it will appear on it on the screen. And you can move it around to wherever you want. So we're going to make a little change to the home page here. So we'll just uh, zoom in. And what we're going to do is change the title from Freeway 5 to uh, My Name. So what we're going to do, we're just going to choose the iBeam tool, the Select tool up here. And we just click in the box on the text we want to change. And you can just change it and type in the text that you want there. And then there's another box underneath. And I'm going to change that um, to another piece of text. And we can come back and change these uh, at any time at all. If we want to see what we're looking at, so we want to change the font, if you just go to the tool window menu and go down to Inspector, this gives you all the information that you're going to have uh, about the content uh, that you're working on. So this tells us we're going to be using Gil Sand's uh, font. It's going to be colored white. It's going to be size 60 pixels and it's going to have normal leading and alignments uh, on there. Uh, if we click on the next tool, it, then we can add special effects uh, if we want. We'll come to these features later on and some basic uh, style information for us. So the inspector gives you all the information that you want. So if you want to change the size, I want it to be now 50 point. I can then just change it uh, to there and it will automatically change 
the type size for me. So it's like any word processing package, click on it, highlight it, go to the inspector and it will then give you all the information uh, for it. So if I want to make it bold, I can make it bold. If I want it italic, I want it underlined, uh, but I'll keep it simple uh, for this stage. Um, it also tells you um, what's going to be happening uh, with the text so we can make it different opacity uh, and put shadows and all sorts but we'll look at these in the text tutorials uh, later on. So anything on the page you can change uh, from the template because it's obviously not going to be the information you want so uh, what we want here is we can just type in a load of text for ourselves just highlight it uh, and replace it then if we want to add a picture so we don't like that picture you can see when I click on the picture up comes more information uh, about the picture uh, and what's going to be happening on it but if I want to import another picture I just go to file import and I can just import another picture from there. Again, we'll be looking at using pictures in later tutorials, uh, or you can go down now and find information uh, on that later on. So you just import and then just choose the file that it is that you want to uh, import. So I'm going to import my computer picture. Notice it doesn't have to be uh, a TIFF, uh, a JPEG, or a GIF file, or a PING file. Uh, it can import a whole range of different file formats. This is a Photoshop document, uh, so it's got nothing special added to it, uh, and I, it will just open it up and it will just import from there. So if I scroll down, you can see that I've imported my picture. It's a bit big uh, at the moment, so it doesn't fit the box, so I can go to the item menu and go down to graphic and scale and trim to the box so it doesn't actually distort it but again we'll look at those features later on so we've got that picture added there so we can go to all the different pages and change the content uh, to what we want it to be uh, later on uh, so what we want to do now is to preview this file so if we want to uh, see what it looks like on a browser we just go to the file menu down to preview in browser choose the browser we want I'm going to choose Firefox and it will then open up uh, the Firefox software and preview it at the moment it's building the site so it's creating all the HTML files and all the um, GIF files and JPEG files uh, to put into the site folder on it and there it is that's our site so if we we're looking uh, at the about page uh, so if we go to home uh, you can see there's my picture that we did there and these buttons here are all ready to go to the gallery uh, or the contact page or the about page uh, from there so if we uh, zoom out the page we can see a little bit more uh, of the information uh, and what's available uh, to us. This is also this template's also got links to Flickr and to Twitter and Facebook, so you can just put the Facebooks. They're already linked to the Soft Press Twitter account, but you can just change those links uh, later on uh, if you want to. So what? Let's see what's happened. We we'll get rid of that, and we we'll get rid of that, and we we'll have a look at the um, what's happened to this charcoal folder now. Now what's happened is it's created a backup folder uh, for us where it's going to keep a backup in case something goes wrong uh, and we've got our site folder which is now full of all the information that we want uh, on our website so these are all the HTML files uh, we've got the CSS information there that's working with it and in the resources you can see that we've got uh, all the pictures uh, and everything that's been created uh, for us uh, there so we've got lots of uh, stuff to do. So it's created everything for us uh, in the site folder and it's made the first page called index.html so it will load from your domain name uh, straight away. So if we want to make changes we just go back into charcoal and we click on the page that we want to change and say we want to change 
piece of text on these menus so I don't want it to be news I want it to say updates should just change it and if I preview it again now that says updates so it's automatically changed from there so that's the basic thing of freeway is it makes a document and then when you preview it uh, it will generate all the HTML files for you for that it's good to have uh, a range of browsers. Uh, we'll look at customizing your websites later on in another tutorial. Uh, but basically, it's get a template and then just change the content for you. If there's ever something that you don't want uh, on your site, so say you don't want uh, a picture there, just click on the box, push backspace, and it's gone. And you can just add more content later on, and we'll look at that in a later tutorial. So that's the basis of. Uh, the uh, freeway document uh, with a template choose one you like and then change the content for you on it so this is Chris Linford co.uk you can find me on iTunes and on YouTube and later on we'll be looking at making a custom web page and starting from scratch to import text and pictures to your own design <laughs>